it's been a while since I've had this suit on and I'm bringing it out with good reason. We started training pretty early and wrapped it up pretty early too. So that I could head up to Hillsborough Castle and get presented my British Empire medal. How epic is that? A British Empire medal for my services to gymnastics. First time getting a tattoo with my man Willie G here. How's it looking? Looking well, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> that first ring's more or less, more or less done. So we're given that, that actual ring shape. Yeah, that yeah. That 3D bevel look. Love it. And at the end, that'll be putting a bit of white in it, and so give it that wee glint. Yeah. And that wee sure. met metallic look, so. Perfect. Kind of cool, but it's like the, the gymnastic rings. Yeah. It actually will look like that. That's pretty cool. How's the pain, Reese? It's not painful at all. Really not. Everybody bakes it up too much. I must say, no, I don't. I don't mean just to say this, but a lot of people who get tattooed by me say I'm not sore. Oh really? A lot of people say that. Yeah. It's it's probably like a soft touch. Yeah. Really, G soft touch. Is that your nickname? Ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking a turn. <laughs> so quite the eventful day. We got the tattoo done. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it so much. It's exactly how I imagined it to be. And then also, obviously, we got our BEM, British Empire Medal, presented to us, which is just a huge honor. It's such an honor to get recognized outside of sport in general. And, you know, it, it motivates me more to, to do more in this sport outside of the gym, uh, outside of actually competing in gymnastics. I want to bring this sport to so many people and sport in general to so many people. So it, this medal alone has, has really inspired me to push even further in this pathway. Right, we're back in Dublin for another day of training and today, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty tired and not motivated really to train. These are the days that I need to push through that. I can find ways around that. I'll find new strategy strategies of how to put in effort into my session. So it's a perfect day to, to work extra hard. having to cover up my tattoo in case chalk gets in it because it was only done a couple of days ago so yeah wouldn't want chalk getting in an open wound at all Well, well, folks, there's definitely a lesson in here somewhere. When I was walking through those doors, I was talking to you guys and saying how tired and drowsy I was and how unmotivated I was. And as soon as I got going, put on some good music in my earphones. It was one of the best sessions I've had in weeks, uh, probably since I've been back from, from Olympics. So just goes to show you, uh, if you're feeling tired or unmotivated, get out of the house, go exercise and you never know, it might just be the best day you've ever had. Good day, guys. Great day. Yeah. <laughs> 
And you know, I would have been equally as satisfied if the session didn't go my way, but the fact that I gave it 100% of my efforts, even though I was feeling awful, was what I was really satisfied with. But it does make it that little bit sweeter that the training session went very well. And it's something people don't do enough, is when they feel bad, they get up and get out. I couldn't tell you the amount of times I went into a training session feeling awful, feeling sick, feeling tired, just feeling demotivated altogether. But as soon as I start training, that's when everything comes together. That's when I start to feel energized, when I start to feel more like myself. And exercise for me is a cure for anything. And something very exciting is happening on the Patreon today. I will be sending off these postcards signed by myself and a little personal message below saying thank you so much for your support so it's great that i can just give back to you patreon supporters so if you want to join the patreon the link will be in the description check it out and see if it's right for you there's so much more coming i'm so happy that i'm getting these postcards done for the patreon supporters because i feel like i'm in debt to those guys even though I'm providing them a good bit of exclusive digital content, I still feel like I need to give like a, an actual object to them to say thank you. So Patreon supporters, I hope you enjoy this small gift and there'll be many more to come in the future. That should wrap up this video anyway. I hope you've enjoyed. A free way to support the channel is just by leaving a like, leaving a comment. It helps with the algorithm if you just comment as many times as you like. I have just started routine work on the build up to world championships that will be back in Japan. I'll be leaving on the 10th of October. So make sure that you follow along on the journey. There's some exciting vlogs to come. I know everybody loves a good travel vlog. And I do too, I love making them. So make sure that you stick around, stay positive, keep smiling, and I'll catch you in the next video.